We got the fourth part of our four-part series mm -hmm. where we're looking at what the movies teach us about plumbing business. Mm -hmm. This has been fun. This episode, we're going to talk about The Wizard of Oz. Have a heart, but don't give it away. What do you mean? Respect, mm -hmm. opportunity, those kinds of things. But don't love your man so much that where you're just giving, giving, giving... Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 357th episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber, along with my lovely co host, the lovely Laura. See how that works Hello. out there? All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're talking <laughs> the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And in this episode, we got mm -hmm. the fourth part of our four part series mm -hmm. where we're looking at what the movies teach us about plumbing business. Mm -hmm. This has been fun. It has been fun. We First episode, I think we, we talked about Rocky and then we talked about the Karate Kid. And then last um, Potty Talk, we talked about Moneyball. Money Ball. All right. That's babes. a good one. Mm -hmm. And this episode, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about The Wizard of Oz. Okay. Now that's an old, <laughs> that's an old. old movie. I don't know if oh, yeah. some, some of our youngins even know what The Wizard of Oz is. I okay. remember Wizard of Oz back when there wasn't cable and all the things that remember, it came out once a year, right? Right. And I mean, you were living to be able to watch. You got your popcorn. It was a all big set. deal. Yes. That's why I miss those times. Now mm -hmm. with, you know, cable and, you, you know, on demand. Put it on loop. You, you, it doesn't mean anything, <laughs> you know, the stuff, you know, but mm -hmm. when it came out, it was a big deal. Right, you year. could watch it, even though mm -hmm. the movie by the time was a million years old, even at that time, <laughs> it was a kind of a special fun movie. Yeah. And it's the only time you could see it throughout it was, the year. It was magic. Right. And yeah. so you watch, you watch the movie, you know. When that movie came out too, you know, it was like 1937 or oh something like goodness. that. Mm. I mean, way back. Way on back. I mean. We weren't even born No, yet, not yet. Yeah. Makes it super we old. Even, <laughs> and uh, and then when that movie came out, the, the, you know, with that tornado scene, the, 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 mm -hmm. the twister scene or whatever, mm -hmm. that was cutting edge technology. Yeah. In fact, it was so cutting edge that, that people had, were being freaked out in the movie theater, adults included, not just kids, but adults. Because of that, you know, the twist so realistic. Are, so realistic that, mm -hmm. you know, people are going to get hurt or die, you know, that kind of a thing. Wow. And so it was, it was pretty freaky. Mm -hmm. Also, another fun fact about, about the, you know, the Wizard of Oz, you know, you got, you got Dorothy, mm -hmm. Toto, Toto too, mm -hmm. Toto, not mm -hmm. the toilet, but Toto. <laughs> okay. The dog. Good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you, you had, you had the, uh, the scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. The tin man and the mm -hmm. cowardly lion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those characters, at the same time that The Wizard of Oz was being filmed, so was another big movie of the time, Gone with the Wind. Oh, okay. And so there's a scene in Gone with the Wind where Atlanta is burning and they've shown all, you know, um, you know a bunch of... Uh, um, Buildings uh, burning or... Yeah, yeah, the buildings are burning and then there's, and there's uh, you know, army men, all that kind, you know, union and the, you had the... Um, what was the, the Confederate? Confederate. The, it was more okay. the Confederate the mm -hmm. army, whatever. But in the corner, you could see that, that these characters had snuck on, on the uh, from the Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Oz, on the set of Gone with and the Wind. And you can see if you look, and ah. when they've got a sea of people in that sea of people. There are the uh, the Wizard of Oz characters. Are they the uh, yeah. Munchkins? Am I not the one? No, it's the <laughs> it's the Tin Man and the uh -uh. Cowardly Lion and uh -uh. and uh, I'm gonna have to go look for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so Wizard of Oz, hopefully everybody has seen the Wizard of Wizard Oz. Wizard of Oz. Great, great and So we're going to take a look at what the okay. Wizard of Oz um, will teach us about uh, plumbing business. But first, yes. want to uh, check in with our sponsor. All right. Hey, let's face it. Plumbing companies are a dime a dozen. And Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. Now, it may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. So your logo and truck design are vital to making sure you not only stand out in a crowd, but will be remembered. Kick Charge Creative is the plumbing industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency and has been instrumental in getting plumbers just like you noticed for over 20 years. They've been around a while. In fact, Kick Charge has helped my clients, such as Works Plumbing in San Francisco, California, increase revenue by 66% in less than one year. That's a lot. They are that good. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. All right. To get more information, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge and start getting noticed today. Stop blending. Right. And get branding. There we go. Okay. 
All right. All right. Yeah. So we're talking Wizard of Oz. What does the Wizard of Oz teach us about plumbing business? Well, it teaches us a lot. Okay, we'll get to that. <laughs> By the way, what hometown are you from? What What is officially, what's your hometown? Officially, officially, yeah. Webster, Indiana. Webster, Indiana. No one knows where that's at. Not even <laughs> people in Indiana know where that's yeah. at. It's a dinky it? little tiny town. We had a four-way stop sign, no lights. Um, we had one building. Um, a general store and a post office all in yep. one. Well, two buildings, I guess. We did have a church. That's where I grew up. My sisters and yeah. I were the youth group. <laughs> <laughs> all that. three of you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was a really, really small town. So Webster and oh, Dana. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. And you are uh-huh. from? Dayton, Ohio. Not a small town. Nope. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yep. Town in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there's uh, no place like home. There's no place like home. Mm-hmm. You know, Dorothy was from Kansas. Mm-hmm. And no place like home. So even though we're, I know we, we live here in Southwest Florida, mm-hmm. it's beautiful. I still kind of think of myself as from Dayton, Ohio. Mm-hmm. I mean, your hometown's always your hometown. Sure. I'll, I'll always, still somewhat be a Hoosier, right? Yep. Yep. So well, there we go. Okay. So where are you from? All yeah, right. Let hey. us know. What's your, right. what's your hometown? If you're, again, if you're watching on, on one of the social media platforms that allow for comments or, or posts, go ahead and let us know what, yeah. what's your hometown. All right. It's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, so what did, uh, what does the Wizard of Oz teach us about plumbing business? I don't know. Okay, well, know. first of all, mm-hmm. you don't have to be a brainiac. <laughs> okay. I We're see where you're off go. to see the wizard. <laughs> was the first first character? Mm-hmm. He was a yeah. scarecrow. The scarecrow, mm-hmm. all right. He had no brain. All right, he was looking for a brain. Mm-hmm. If I only had a brain, <laughs> you know? Um, he danced around and, mm-hmm. you know? All floppy. Right. Mm-hmm. But he didn't have a brain. Nope. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, what did he say? Something about the the stuffing or I forget I the straw. Know. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. But even through all that, it, it's, um, you don't, you don't have to be a brainiac to be successful in plumbing business or to be a, a great <laughs> business man or woman. Okay. We proved that. I, I proved that. I, I am not the sharpest tool in, you know, in the shed. Mm-hmm. Um, but you learn through time and part of it is building your own confidence with mm-hmm. this, this kind of a thing. That's what you find out with the scarecrow through the whole process. You know, you think you had to have some special degree or something like that. That's kind of the lie that's in our society today. Go to school. Right. You know, you know, mm-hmm. you know again, I like to use the, the business school example. You got guys, uh, the average cost of going to business school is like 90 some thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. And, the, and those, those kids coming out of business school <laughs> don't know a tenth of what it takes to run a business. No, because they you were know? taught by someone that never ran a business. They never ran a business. That's another part of it. The professors are teaching business, you know. Never, never had a payroll. Right, never, right. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they know nothing about actually running a business, creating right. a business, mm-hmm. growing a business, running a business, mm-hmm. okay. So the scarecrow was going, he wanted to go see the wizard, so right. that he could get the special whatever mm-hmm. so that he'd have a brain. Right. But he turned out he had the brain all along. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and the same go, goes for you with, with starting your plumbing business. Okay. This is not rocket science. That's why I, I really try to go overboard. Look, um, as you go through life and you, you go through business, you're going to learn, you learn things. Mm. So today, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm really pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he says well, humbly. Like, right, right. Well, well, and so, so are you, I mean, it, I think it, you are. It, it comes, right. It, it comes, it comes from just the, the experience mm-hmm. of, of, of working through things mm-hmm. and, you know, that, you know, those and figuring things. out that you kind of knew a thing or two. Right. right? And okay. if you didn't, you learned it. Right. Right. And, and, then, and then you applied it and you applied what else you learn and you put the, those things together and you grow. Okay. Um, and you learn, um, is say that's how it works in, in the plumbing business. I, so I really, that's why, um, in going, going through this whole process and really my, my heart is, um, is, is to share these things. Um, I, I, in fact, we wind up sharing more of the mistakes. <laughs> Than actually the success is the landmines to avoid. Right. Because I don't want you to have, have those, you know, hit those same landmines and make those same, same kind of mistakes, Mm -hmm. but you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to make it all sound. Um, that's, it's kind of my beef with some of these others that are out there. They make it sound like it's, it's extra, you know, there's some kind of secret sauce or special or, you know, you know, that, that kind of thing. You got to know certain numbers have certain words that you use for sales and all it's all, that's all, it's all gimmicky. Mm -hmm. You don't need that. Okay. It is, this isn't rocket science. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mrs. Jones calls in the morning. She's already sold. You could go out there, you know, write some options, write offer some, great service. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you're done. You know, it's money in the bank. Mm-hmm. Okay. It really <laughs> is that simple. A lot of times we got to get out, out of our own way. The scarecrow was that kind of thing. He didn't think that he had a brain right? because he was just a scarecrow. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just a scarecrow. I'm right. just, I'm just a plumber. Right. I'm just a plumber. So my, yeah, I have my own, my own business, but it's just a plumbing business. I'm not like some, you know, big 
or a company, an accountant, even, you know, they're super smart and they've got their own firm or attorney. They've got them. They must be super smart. I or guarantee whatever. you know more about business than what accountants know <laughs> just because they, they just keep trying that. That gets one of the things we try to, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk to you about or, or teach you guys. Don't trust the account. Don't, don't hand over your business to the accountants. Mm -mm. Okay. Yep. They don't know business. They do not. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The lawyers don't know business. Mm -hmm. These people that we think are smart because they mm -hmm. got the degree or whatever, that right. kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, no. Okay. You are smart. You are smart. Mm -hmm. And it's, this isn't rocket science. Mm -hmm. Two plus two equals four. We have a tendency to want to make things so complex. Mm -hmm. Well, because yeah. why isn't everybody doing it if it's that easy? Right. right. So you kind of look at it and go, well, gosh, well, it has to be, has to it be has hard. To be super hard because yeah, not everybody's starting hard. a business. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not. It has nothing to do with it's, that. It's not. Okay. <laughs> so, so you don't have to be super smart. Don't have to be a brainiac. Don't have to be a brainiac. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, the fact that you're not, the most successful people are usually not the smartest ones in the mm -hmm. class. You know, Einstein flunked math. Mm. <laughs> 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 but he's got, you know, literally, mm. you know, it's, it's, um, so it's not, not the smartest book guy, the smartest one in the class or whatever. And, and usually when you're, cause when you're the smartest, you're, you're thinking like that, you have all the answers. Mm -hmm. You're not open to right. what's going on, or how, how, you, right, how you can adjust and adapt. Right. And do I really see this, this way? Is this really happening that way? Mm -hmm. Kind of a thing. Okay. And so it's good. So that, that is very good news. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a brainiac <laughs> and uh, look at yours truly. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> So, okay. So right. that's the scarecrow. I bet where you're going, I know where you're going next. What? Okay. <laughs> the Tin Man. Yeah. All right. What did the Tin Man tin teach man. us? Yeah. I love Tin Man. Okay. But, um, have a heart. He didn't think he had a heart. Right. right? But he did. Mm -hmm. And so what we learned ultimately from the Tin Man is have a heart, but don't give it away. No. Okay. Have a heart, mm -hmm. but don't give it away. What do you mean? You know, it's the number one mistake that, um, that uh, generals make. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another good book for you to read is Sun Tzu. Okay? Sun Tzu. The Art of War. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, and number one, and as we talk about, uh, it's, it's, it's actually a good business, business book, mm -hmm. even though it's about, you know, war and that kind of a thing. Um, but when we talk about dealing with people and, and generals dealing with people, the, the number one mistake, um, and there's, there's a few different mistakes that generals make. One is being the smartest. So they got to know everything before they do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one is having too much pride. You know, I, I have all the answers and I got, I got this, got this covered. And so they, they run into things. Another one is loving your men too much. And this is what I see that most um, um, plumbing business owners make because we come from the field. Um, you know, we, we come from plumbing and the odds are we may have been mistreated by another company. We felt like a number we thought. So when we start our own plumbing business, well, I'm going to, I'm going to take care of my guys better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to have, I'm going to feed them every day. They're going to have the best equipment. You know, I'm going to treat, you know, they're going to. It's going to be us together. Uh, right. Us together, <laughs> us together, you know, and we're going to play it's together. Not. We're going to do stuff together. <laughs> we're going to be a team together. <laughs> well, that's the farthest. That's the worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is loving your guys too much. Mm -hmm. Have a heart for your guys. Certainly. So in fact, that is your responsibility. Right. All right. Pay them well. Mm -hmm. Um, Good Provide equipment, good, good equipment mm -hmm. um, clear expectations, respect, mm -hmm. opportunity, those kinds of things. But don't love your man so much that where you're just giving, giving, giving and, and try to, you know, well, oh, buddy, well, so, so why, why don't, you know, so why, why can you not get in here till 930? <laughs> oh, let me help you with that. Mm -hmm. Let's you know, make it 10. Let's make it right. <laughs> um you know, and you know, do those kinds, you know, do the stuff to you know, make the, make it fun, you know, meals, extras, mm -hmm. you know, um, but that's not going to buy you loyalty. Okay. Right. It's only going to wind up breaking your heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. The bottom line is going to break your heart. Mm -hmm. And we, we saw it time and time and time again. I see it so with, true. you know, we work with our private clients <laughs> that we get to work directly with and, and I see it and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to freak them out at the beginning, but they finally start getting guys and this is the best team. I got the best guys. We're, we're really running like a team and we're going to be in this forever together. I love these guys. Mm -hmm. And then about a week later, not so much. The guys are gone. Right. Half the guys are gone. And I see it time and time and time. <laughs> well, and we time experienced again. it. We, oh and yeah. Again, I remember, I know we've said it a few times, but I specifically, 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 specifically yeah. remember the team. And we thought this, we've got it. it. We, and they were a great team. I mean, we team. were Every, kicking butt. Everybody got along. They were right. a lot of fun. 
Yeah. Um, they happen to be even just the natural salesman type stuff. Mm-hmm. So even the work in our system, they, they the guys su- have went, they supported know. each other. It was it was a great time right. until a week it, later. But I went not even go into that. Everybody's heard right. the story over and over. <laughs> but so it, will, it it happens and it will happen to you. Mm-hmm. It will. Okay. So, you know, have a heart, but but don't don't give it away. So you know, another example is um Love your customers, care for your customers, have a heart for providing the best service possible. Okay. And know that you're treating your customers and providing the service, you know, better than anyone else. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you're going to get a bad review mm-hmm. or two, especially as you grow. And they're going to break your heart. Right. And that's going to break <laughs> your heart. And, and so you can't be all emotional about it. Be all wrapped up into that. I see it time and time and time and time and time again. <laughs> I, you know, some we just can't get some guys past the thing of they get a bad review and it's like the whole world just blows up. Whatever well, they were wrong and it's not we didn't do that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Care. Have that heart to provide the best service possible. Okay. But hold your heart. You know. Keep. Um, you know. Don't give your heart away all to to the customers. Okay. Because you're gonna get hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're gonna break your heart. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And. Um, that's no fun. It's no going to make you cry. <laughs> okay. And there's no crying in plumbing. There's no crying. There's plumbing. no crying in plumbing. Okay. Uh-huh. All okay. right. So that's, we just did the scarecrow. The, oh no, the no. Man. The scarecrow and the tin man. Um, okay. I'll bet hey, I know what's next. Hey, but one thing that won't make you cry. What? It's my million dollar plumber blueprint. <laughs> okay. In it, I lay out the exact specs you got to have in place. Hey, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. So why? Are you trying to, you know, build a plumbing business without a blueprint, That's without a plan? Silly. Okay. I have it for you. Okay. I lay out the exact specs that you need to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. Do you charge a million dollars for that? Yes, because it's worth it. <laughs> nope. All right. It's free. Okay. All right. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free. Mm-hmm. Okay. And grab your free copy. All right. Okay. It's there for the taking. Mm-hmm. All right. So get it. Get it. All right. Today. It's a steal. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Before, you, before we get back you're, to you're, the, get, you're getting it over on me. Okay. <laughs> before we get back to the episode, I want to remind everybody, um, we are out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, um, all over the place, YouTube. Um, so make sure you go out and search for us and, and like us and follow us. Um, our handle is the million dollar plumber. So go out and, and do all those things. Come so you make sure, yeah, we talk yeah. more business strategies, more business tips, all the things. There's a great community of, of followers as well. So come, come join us. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So do it. All right. The Wizard of Oz. Okay. okay. We, we had, we had the scarecrow. Mm-hmm. Taught us you don't have to be a brainiac. No brainiac. You got a brain. If I only had a brain. <laughs> all right. Number two. All right. The Tin Man taught mm-hmm. us have a heart. Mm-hmm. But don't give it away. Okay. Okay. Protect your heart. Care for everyone and everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, but hold on to your heart. Protect your heart. Okay. Okay. And finally, the we got the lion. cowardly lion. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he does teach us, okay, mm-hmm. that courage is contagious. Mm-hmm. He was okay. a scaredy cat. Okay, at first he was a scaredy cat. Look at him. Oh, that's funny, baby. All right, he's a lion. <laughs> Do I correct you? Right, You're always surprised when I'm funny. Right. right. <laughs> yes. But that was the thing. The mm-hmm. fear is fear is contagious. Mm-hmm. Sad, we're seeing that huge in our society right now, mm-hmm. being thrust upon us. Absolutely. Fear con- is fear very, works. very controlling. Fear works, mm-hmm. and it's also very contagious. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. oh, God, I got to have the mask. We got to, we got to hit the thing because I catch it. We're all going to die. We're going to die. They said we're going to die. That guy said we're going to die. The guy in the lab coat said we're all going to die. We're going to die. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I don't want to die. Do you want to die? I don't want to <laughs> die. You're going to die. You're going to die. So it's very contagious. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, so is courage. Mm-hmm. That's what we need right now. Okay. All right. And your your plumbing business especially needs that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you you got to be you got to be uh, courageous. Okay. Do not show your fear. Right. Don't be a scaredy cat. Right. So another thing, you know, way of putting that, so you ever heard of saying, don't let them see you sweat. Mm-hmm. Never let them see you sweat. Never let them see. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is professional plumbing. Okay. So uh, if you truly love your guys, don't be when, when it, the time, you know, there are going to be, um, you know, it's, it's seasonal and cyclical. And so, you know, sometimes there's tons of work. Sometimes there isn't. So when there isn't a lot of work, even though inside you're going, huh, oh. I got bills to pay and this mm-hmm. and that, and I'm worried about what my guys are going to do. Or are they mm-hmm. going to be unhappy? You can't when they're all concerned about that there's no work, mm-hmm. you know, there's never going to be work again. This is where we all die. There's never going to be work again <laughs> if you right join now. In. <laughs> right. If, if you're also saying, yeah, I'm concerned too. And all that. Oh, 
that goes. Mm, it spreads like wildfire. Right. But also, if on the flip side, mm -hmm. if you're like, hey, this, hey, guys, we've seen this before. This is how it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, just make sure our trucks are clean. All right. Make sure you got things stocked up here. All right. We'll take it as it come. It's going to be a great day. All right. Let's hit it. Mm -hmm. All right. That's also very contagious. Okay. All of a sudden, the guys feel, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it, we, we see it, you know, you know, we're talking movies here. We see it in more movies all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine as a general or as a leader, you get ready to go into battle, you know, and it's like, there's going to be a lot of guns and shooting. <laughs> and the odds are most of you aren't coming back. <laughs> We're all going to die. You know, you should be pissing your pants right about now. That kind of a thing. All right. That's not good leadership. It doesn't work right. Mm -hmm. But if it's, you, you call them up, you know, they may take our lives, but they won't take <laughs> our freedom. All of a sudden, everybody's like, ah, oh, let's go. Let's fight. You know, it's. There's something, it's, it's contagious. Mm -hmm. Okay. You've got to be that way. If you want your plumbing business to be successful, because the business is going to have ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can't be screaming, you know, like a little girl, like a little, you know, like, right. Like a little girl mm -hmm. on, when, when you're having the downs okay. because you're going to freak everybody out. Right. Okay. You Especially be, yourself. Yes. <laughs> it, it, right. Mm -hmm. Especially and so, yourself. And what you'll find too, as you get you know, even though our personalities may be a little bit more, while you say my personality isn't the type that, you know, that is all, you know, this and that. And like what, you know, you know, I'm not the guy that jumps off roofs or, you oh, know, yeah. I, wasn't, I don't mm -hmm. step out that those kinds of mm -hmm. things. I'm, I'm more of a quiet personality and mm -hmm. that doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay. As you get, as you do these kinds of things and behave in a courageous way, it's cont you, it's contagious, contagious for yourself. You right. start acting mm -hmm. more courageous yourself. Yes. You build confidence in yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And as you're doing that, and it's also giving your, your employees, your guys courage, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, you know, in our, in our, in our plumbing company, our guys are responsible for everything. Mm -hmm. So when, um, you know, we send a guy in training. See, that's the thing with, with training. A lot of guys, the biggest mistake we make with training is we got to, we try to have the guys train for four, six, eight, 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, what we're telling them is you don't know enough. You don't know. You can't handle this. Uh, when you do that, you have training that long. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. We had, we had five days of training. The fifth day they were out in their own truck. Get out. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and the attitude was, you got this, mm -hmm. even though they still may not have service tightened down. The odds mm -hmm. are they're not. We're falling it, forward. Right. You fall it right. Mm -hmm. But you are saying, you got this. Mm -hmm. I know you got this. You got this, you know, and it builds confidence and courage in them In them. And, it, and that's, that's, you know, that's contagious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which also then leads to your vendors. Okay. If you're acting like a little scared company, if you're going in your vendors and crying, that is slow. Are you slow this week? Is anyone else slow this week? Are we all slow. We're all going to die. <laughs> then, then when you're looking, reaching out for your, that vendor to do something like, uh, um, consignment, consignment deals, mm -hmm. which we, we talk about in the Academy of mm -hmm. working on a consignment deal where they, they stock your trucks. You don't pay for it. Right. right. That, that kind of thing. They ain't going to do anything near like that. No. Because you, you, you're not exuding. Right. Confidence. Confidence. Courage. Right. Okay. Like the, the cowardly lion who wasn't cowardly right. after all. That, that really, really wasn't. He just had to turn his way of, way of looking at things. And once he started doing some braver things, mm -hmm. you know, it was contagious, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and it works. <laughs> courage is contagious. Mm -hmm. All right. The but Wizard of Oz. That's teaching a fun Plumbing business tips and techniques. Yep. Who'd have thunk? Right. Back then. <laughs> That's another good movie. And not five. You know, <laughs> way back. You know, I miss it. Those, yeah. That is an old movie. In today's standards of, you know, CGI and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like, it can be a little campy. And the acting, you know, I know you oh, really like the old acting. You know, Ooh. I tell you. Why I tell you. Yeah. Why <laughs> Why I the way the different styles of acting. and <laughs> but, but just the stories and just the simplicity of it, you know. It's just, uh, it, it's fun. Yeah, but yeah. Wizard of Oz, the first part is black and white. And then when they go into, that was it. yeah, that all of a sudden color, that right? When, huge. When the house lands and right. she opens the door and it's color. Oh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> you know, oh man. Uh, so anyway, all right. Go. So that okay. wraps up our, what movies teach us about plumbing business series. Hopefully yes. you guys have caught all the, the past episodes. If not, go back They're They're out on our website. They're out um, on, all our social, on our social media channels. Yep. Um, go check it out. It was a lot of fun doing that. Yeah. I'll have to do this again, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I, I like, the, we I like the movies. movies. <laughs> right. And it's fun. You know, mm -hmm. that's the way I look mm -hmm. at movies, you know, with business. I, I know the guys, you can relate to this. I, I can't walk into a bathroom today, you know, a restaurant, whatever, oh. without checking out the plumbing. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're, when you get into business as you trans, you know, even though I haven't turned a wrench for years, you know, you still, I don't think of myself as a plumber mm -hmm. anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still part of you. Right. Sure. Well, as you get into your business and you start looking at things, you know, in business and how, you know, and you learn different things, whatever. I can't watch a movie or even 
um, other events without thinking about the business aspect of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, just how it is. Right. And so I love lo looking at the movies that way. Oh, you always have yeah. your business cap on. Yes. Okay. okay. Hey, if, if you're yes. wanting to learn to level up your plumbing business, or if you just want to learn the plumbing business, you know, if I, or if it's hit you that I don't know something mm -hmm. like plumbing business, <laughs> all right, then you may want to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, where we teach you everything you need to know. We teach, teach you, we tell you, we show you, mm -hmm. okay, everything you need to know to have a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. It's mm -hmm. all laid out there for you. 12 modules, over 150 uh, video classes, and you can choose your level of commitment, mm -hmm. okay? Um, whether it's apprentice level where you're walking yourself through, you don't want anyone to be, you know, really don't want to be held accountable. Kind of self-paced. You just self-paced. Mm -hmm. Or the journeyman level where, you know, you're still, you're walking yourself through the classes, but we have we have group coaching classes mm -hmm. and, and the group community where we all we hang out and get questions answered and it's just a fun place to be, Support. be around others. Mm -hmm. Or the master level where if you're truly looking to fast track your success, because you'll get your own coach mm -hmm. that's going to hold you accountable, <laughs> all right, that's been where you're at and is now very successful with their plumbing business, okay, and have moved on, mm -hmm. that will actually walk you through it and hold you accountable. Yep. So depends on, you know, your level of uh, commitment, mm -hmm. um, but it's all there for you. And right now you can check it out for free. Mm -hmm. 14 day free trial. You bet. Right. You still keeping that up there? I'm, yeah. I'm not getting rid right. of it. Well, okay. <laughs> well, we don't want to give the, you, you have no excuse. Okay. If you're, if you're truly serious, there's no excuse mm -hmm. and there's nothing out there like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. For plumbing business owners right. and others. I mean, um, people have reached out and, to us and said, do you realize this um, still, you don't have to be a plumbing business owner to, to um, use the success Academy. Right. Right. And we, the, we do have others, home service businesses that, that use it. So, cause right. the principles are the same. The principles are the same. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. All right. And you can check it out for 14 days free trial. There we go. All right. All right. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. Hey, great. I like to do this movie series again. Okay. I mean, we it's will. fun. Yeah. You, it's just another excuse for you to watch movies. <laughs> watch That's run. what it is. <laughs> you know? Because it's mm -hmm. just a fun way of, of learning some business principles, mm -hmm. all right, to help us grow our successful plumbing businesses. So there okay. we go. Hey, before, uh, great episode, mm -hmm. but before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you are purposely and wonderfully created mm -hmm. and you were created to do great things. All right. So get out there and plumb like a champion. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Bye.